Hello everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. This is part two of the previous video. If you have not watched that, that is basically the shopping hauls that, and then this is the after of the shopping hauls. So if you have not watched that, go and check it out. Though if you don't want to watch shopping hauls, you can just watch this by itself. So without further ado, let's go. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away, this is what we waited for. Looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run, this is what we waited for. So we ended up going out and I didn't show you. Alex has already had some, but I don't know if you can hear that. It's nice and crunchy. I'm just gonna put it in here and I'm gonna make some more for him. 
and I've just put the eggs in the oven. So I've just diced all our strawberries. I kept some here for Ozzy, so they're just gonna stay in there. But these are not gonna last very long. Um, I could tell they're like on the verge of, you know, maybe by tomorrow they'd be off. So I thought tonight we could have those. And I thought I would show you what I usually do to take them to the next level. I add a little, a bit of balsamic vinegar. Let me see if I can do this with one hand, a little bit. Um, that's probably what, um, less than a teaspoon, than a tablespoon. And then I add a bit of sugar. Maybe a little bit more balsamic. It's quite a lot of strawberries there. Give it a good stir. And then I add strawberries into the bowl. Okay, so I just put it in here, give it a really good stir to make sure all the strawberries are covered in the balsamic vinegar and the strawberries. And you guys, this tastes amazing amazing it just brings out the strawberry flavor even more i'm just going to cover it and put it in the fridge i get asked all the time if i still use these silicone covers these were gifted to me by the by a company probably a good couple of years ago i still use them for bowls that don't have covers and by the way the eggs are done so these are plain Okay, these are spinach and these have tomatoes. So these are for Alex and these are for Oscar. Mm. This is a good time to show you what the fridge is looking like. It's a bit rammed as usual. Um, so in here I have some of that. I think they call it miracle dough or ma magic dough. It's basically um, Greek yogurt, Greek yogurt, flour and yeast and salt, I think. Uh, there's loads of recipes on the internet for that. I'm actually gonna use the leftover there to make Alex some flatbread for him to have with ribs tonight. And then here I've just got like cheese, snack cheese. There's chocolate, Paul likes it in the fridge. There's some of those snacks I got. Spinach, there's the strawberries, and then got some veg at the back and the grapes. Um, in here I have the fish that I still have to prepare, yeah, vegetables, yeah, all the veggies and cheese and cold meats. Here is Ozzy's plate. Let's see how much he eats. He's definitely ready for it. So here's Alex's dinner today. He's got some seaweed, some um, bread, flat bread that I just made for him, some ribs and a smoothie. Okay. Hi Alex, are you excited about your dinner? Yeah. What's your favorite bit, do you think? Um, um, ribs. Sorry, the ribs? Yeah. The ribs, everyone's favorite bit, right? And here's Paul and mine. No, that's mine, that's Paul's. Um, yeah, salad, there's like lettuce, there's cheese, there's croutons, there's grapes, you know, olives and all that. Some of that bread that I made for Alex and some ribs, the same for Paul. Ozzy did not like the egg. He had one bit, but spit most of it out, but I'll try again tomorrow.
Having finished the fish for tomorrow, I am going to work on the cream. I'm going to make like a Chantilly cream. So there's double cream in there. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla bean paste and some icing sugar. You can add normal sugar and then beat it until it's nice and soft. Okay, peaks. so this is the consist consistency that I want. I'm now gonna excuse, excuse all the shadows like I can't talk I'm so tired you guys um got all 
the strawberries here. I'm going to give a good stir and drain to get all um, the sort of vinegar out. And then I'm going to dish it up and show you. This would be lovely with mascarpone cheese as well, you guys. Loads of cream. Combination, sorry, of mascarpone cheese and double cream would be very, very nice as well. Mm. That's it. Delicious. I am going to take this with me, one for me, one for Paul, take it to the sofa and just enjoy the rest of the evening. Okay, you guys, it's actually the next day. I froze the octopus because... If you freeze the octopus, it does something to it. It makes it a lot softer because the last thing you want is for it to be rubbery. So with it still frozen, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in. And then you're going to add about a glass of water. You're going to put the lid on and it's going to cook for about 45 minutes. I am obviously going to be here keeping an eye because I don't want it to go with our water but yeah and after that i'll show you what else i'm gonna do i have prepped some potatoes these are li the little baby potatoes what i do is i took out any bits that were a bit weird and then stabbed them a couple of times and cook them like this for about 20 minutes i'm not going to do that yet because um this and the octopus will end up in the oven later so i diced about four garlic cloves and then with a bit of salt squash them a little bit in here with a pestle and mortar and then added some um, olive oil it's not actually olive oil it's rapeseed oil uh, but traditionally would be olive oil and I'm going to leave it here to infuse for a little bit it's going to need way more olive oil than that but I just thought if I let the garlic get right in that be lovely just put the potatoes on added some stock cubes to give it loads of flavor and here's how the octopus is coming along yeah this is where we're at okay so the ray is here if you remember i had it with lemon juice in the fridge overnight and that what i did was pat it dry with um just some paper towel and then put it through plain flour and I'm going to fry them once I put this stuff in the oven. This is almost done and so is this. So yeah, I'll show you the next step soon. So I just gave the potatoes a bit of a squash. Uh, traditionally, you're supposed to give it a, a little punch and they, that's why they're called punch potatoes or, or in Portuguese would be batatas um, amor. And then this is all gonna crisp up in the oven. If you have not tried this, please do. It's quite like, I've seen it on TikTok quite a lot. It's quite trendy to do it, but we have been doing this for decades in Portugal. So we're gonna add the octopus now. Tonight, sorry, Ozzy's having some lentil soup, which I know he really likes, and also some more of that egg stuff. He probably is not going to eat that, but I want him to try it. Some more of his crunchy stuff and strawberries. 
depending on how much he eats of this, then I can always give him a yogurt or something else, one of his little biscotti biscuits that he likes. So we'll see, but yeah, this is his dinner. For vegetables tonight, I've got some baby corn and some peas. I'm just gonna boil them with a bit of salt. No Pero sé que lo gozaré Pa' serte sincero Un Dios el que te enseñó Lo que puedes hacer con mi piel Yeah, 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 yeah Baby, si se nos da, yeah, yeah Será lo que será, yeah, yeah Nos lo vamos a matar, yeah, yeah Toda esa curiosidad Baby, si se nos da, yeah, yeah Será lo que será Here's our plate and here is Alex's plus the ray. You'll have you'll probably refuse, but we'll see. We'll give him some ray as okay. well. Okay. So what did everyone think of their dinner? Alex really liked the the ray. This was like his third piece, I think, and then it just you know, he ate up all his octopus did not eat the potato or the peas, but ate the sweet corn. This is the fish that's left over. Paul didn't like it, but apart from that, we ate almost everything. I'm gonna keep these potatoes with the rest of the fish and I'll probably have it for lunch tomorrow. I just saw me fill that up with steaming hot water put my sponge which by the way these are the scrub daddy sponges that I got from Sherry's I quite like them they're they're quite good um, I've got my Microsoft cloth micro microfiber cloth in there as well uh, that is on 
dishwashers on. I put on a candle, it's a vanilla one from Ikea, just because I fried some fish in here. So um, I want it to smell nice. Stuff drying over there. Just wanted to show you as well, I just got my Amazon monthly delivery. I do their subscription. If you don't and you have this stuff delivered, you really should because it saves me so much money. So I always get my pot coffee from them. Usually I get 12 boxes. No, yeah, 12 boxes, believe it or not. But I've got quite a lot. So I only got two boxes of three. So six anyway, as you can see here. Um, I'll put on the screen how much this would cost you in the supermarket and how much I pay for it so you can see I also this is Oscar's favorite little baby cereal is these little stars I've described them before as stale with a hint of uh, I don't even know a fruit it must be raspberry and banana um, but he really loves them you know like babies have no idea of stuff like that so it was a pack of five and again i put this on my subscription the other thing is you just because it's on subscription you don't have to get it every month so i've put this on a uh, three month every three months i get a box but before they come out i um they email me so i can review it so every three months i'll get a box of five because it was actually in a packaging i've just put it all in there I also got my Flexitol. I, yeah, I get this, I think it's like every two to three months. Um, though today I did see it in Home Bargains for half of the price. So I'm gonna stop that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop buying it from Amazon. Maybe not half the price, but it was cheaper. But yeah, this stuff really, really works really well if you have any problems with calluses and hard skin go for that also got my method um, washing up liquid and then the other thing I got was this eternity women perfume eau de parfum so I got this really cheap I've put it on um, like I said on subscription every six months but I'll probably cancel it after this but it means that I save a lot of money anyway you basically are not forced to keep up with any of your subscriptions but um, I haven't I don't remember smelling that in forever so I'm gonna smell that it smells lovely um, I probably won't buy it again I don't think but I love having a little bit of a change for a little while so yeah, that smells really good actually. The more I smell it, I can smell it on my wrist and it smells quite good. I've just realized that I don't have any dishwasher tablets. I was expecting them to come with my subscription. So I need to check because I've only got like three left. I need to check my, it's really dark you guys. It's not it's like just gone eight o'clock, but it's really dark outside. So I just need to check in here see if I've got some I don't think I do no I don't think I do you guys so I need to go check that online I love this little light by the way I've got it on auto so it comes on with movement it's really lovely so yeah everything's stocked up you see I've still got that amount of coffee there so I'll be fine. So let me put this stuff away.